is the daughter of Mel Fisher, the late Mel Fisher, and she's here to talk to us about virtual Mel Fisher days. Good morning, Taffy. Good morning, Bill. Thanks for having me. Appreciate you joining us. Uh, everything's all different this year for sure, and Mel Fisher days, no different, is it? Yeah, no, we're really going to miss getting together for a reunion with all our crew, but uh, we're going to go online and, and uh, do the charity auction to help the charities whose needs don't stop. Hmm, terrific. And now, uh, what, what can people do to get involved in the virtual Mel Fisher days? Uh, well, the first thing to do is to log in to MelFisherDays.com, and they can look at all of the uh, fabulous items that we've had donated by uh, uh, local businesses, and there's some treasure in there, too. People can bid on those items. There's all kinds of things like treasure and jewelry and dive trips, fishing. Um, they can also buy T-shirts or just make a donation. Hmm, okay. And, and the... Uh Meanwhile, you have the uh, the annual Mel Fisher Lifetime Achievement Award that you're giving out. Who who wins this year? Uh, the winner this year is Marlo White, but we all call him Buster affectionately. He is uh, was raised in Jacksonville, Florida, and lives in Tallahassee, and he's a really kick butt attorney who has helped us defend the right to continue to look for treasure for many many years for over two decades. Mm. And that, tra that search is still continuing today, isn't it? Yes, we're still out there. Actually, our boat's out right now. The Magruder's out there uh, looking at Emerald City and the quicksands. Hopefully, we'll find a big pile of treasure today. Today's the day, as Bill used to say, right? <laughs> Today's the day. <laughs> you, you never know when you're going to come across anything. I mean, do they go days or weeks or months without finding anything? Uh, you know, kind of can be discouraging, I would imagine. Yeah, you know, it's not easy finding treasure. You have to dig a lot of holes and be very patient. And sometimes you don't find much for, for days and weeks on end. And then all of a sudden, boom, you hit the big hole with gold and silver and emeralds. And that's what we're hoping for today. Oh, that's when you bite the uh, your mouthpiece <laughs> <laughs> underwater there. Well, well, good luck to the, the crew out there at the Magruder. And uh, looking forward to Mel Fisher Days. When, when do things uh, ramp up on this? Uh, Mel Fisher Days has just begun. You can just go to MelFisherDays.com. You can log in and uh, go visit all the beautiful items in the auction. It will run through July 20th. It, uh, that's the cutoff for the auction. So uh, July 20th, I believe it, 8 p.m. Okay. That's the anniversary of the mother load. That's <laughs> right. That's right. And that was 1985. 85. Yes. Right. Yep, this no yeah. kidding. Thirty-five years ago, huh? Amazing, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Seems like yesterday. It does. It does. <laughs> I remember. I remember. Uh, Duncan Matthews and called me the night before. He said, "Well, I think we're going to find it." You know. That's right. <laughs> he said, "We we just got a side scan sonar blip on a big pile, and we think that's it." He says, "That well, was yeah." Stay tuned. It was the next day you found it. That's right. Well, Taffy, thank you for joining us. Taffy Fisher Apt, the daughter of Mel Fisher, and she's organizing Mel Fisher Days, and you can find them online. Thank you, Taffy. Appreciate you joining us. Take care. All right. Thanks okay. for inviting me. Bye.